When my father disappeared and Mother Brain tried to take over Video Land, her only hope lay in an ancient prophecy that a great warrior from another world would come to our rescue. I admit, I was a bit skeptical when Kevin showed up. But now, I don't know how we'd ever get along without him. to find another warp home from here. Wherever the metal world that is. A fine mess you warped us into, Mr. Game Master. Me? Your team started it. Time out, guys. The game's over, remember? Not yet, it isn't. First team back to the palace wins. You're on. You couldn't warp your way out of a paper bag. We'll see about that, I guess. Kevin, the most important thing is to get home, not who gets there first. I know! This just makes it more exciting. Come on, team, they're getting a head start! Oh! Ugh, winning isn't everything, you know. Ugh. Hey, no biggie. I'll have us out in a flash with my power pad. Well, then again, maybe not. Looks like the circuits are sapped out. So you, for falling oh. into that dwarf trap! <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Ralph. Thanks, Gelf. So how about throwing us a line so we can climb out of this hot trap? Throw you a line? Okay, why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> to get to the other side! <laughs> Thanks, that branch will do nicely. Glad to be of service, pretty lady. Uh -oh. uh. We're kind of in a hurry. You feel us now the way to the nearest war? No, but maybe our king does. Strangers are amongst us, oh evil one. They may be useful to my cause. Use this ring to keep me informed. You haven't forgotten our bargain, have you? <laughs> Leave me before you get more than you bargained for. Well, I've had it with those blasted pointy nosed dwarfs. We'll never have any peace until we drive them off back Xanadu once and for all. Why are the dwarfs your enemies, Your Majesty? Well, it all started long ago when a great elf wizard made a magic crystal from the elements of earth, wind, fire, and water. In those times, the dwarfs and elves were at peace, for the magic crystal gave us all what we desired. All we had to do was ask. Then those greedy, beady-eyed dwarfs stole it! Silence! I'm telling this story. <coughs> yes, your majesty. <coughs> the dwarfs would have used the crystal to destroy our world tree if those idiots hadn't lost it. Maybe we can help you find it. Our thanks for you pulling us out of their trap. You got any clues? <clears throat> yes, this piece of the crystal found by my loyal elves. Bring forth the royal guru. 
Uh, how's the reception? Are you getting anything? Ouch! What is it? What do you see? I see a misty place. He must mean mist town inside the world tree. There you will find a ruby ring that moves mountains. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, dwarfs have been spotted headed for the world tree. Two arms, two arms! Those weasels must be searching for the crystal again. Maybe we should find Simon and the others first. Well, no way! Finding that crystal is going to put us one up on their team. <gasps> oh, look! A flower for my favorite princess. This is no time to pick flowers, Simon. We're looking for a warp. Don't be silly. Captain N will turn green when her sweetness thanks me for this. Uh-oh. Yeah! Get me out of this beanbag! You heard Queen Dwarfine. Cut her down, Morph. Uh, right away, Gwarf. Wow! Thanks, cutie, for saving me from that nasty elf trap. Oh, in a hero's day's work. We're mega sorry we tripped that trap on you, Your Highness. We were looking for a warp zone. Is there one around here? Sure, I'll show you. I just have to make one teensy little stop first. <laughs> okay, dwarves, let's move out. <laughs> <laughs> Someone selling the key to our future. Wait here. Did you bring the key? Did you bring the gold? 5,000 gold pieces. The price just doubled. Now that I see how eager you are to have it, 10,000 gold pieces. What? That's outrageous! Well, look, there's that sneaky queen dwarfine and her band of dwarfs. Wait a minute. Some of those dwarfs aren't dwarfs. We better check this out, Lana. Simon, what are you guys doing with those sneak thieved dwarfs? They stole a magic crystal from these nice elves. Frogwash! It's the elves who stole the crystal from the dwarves! We're just trying to get it back! You believe me, don't you, Hanson? Of course I do, your misunderstoodness. We do, too. The elves try to snare her highness in a trap. Well, I suppose that's what the Dunderhead Queen told you. Who are you calling Dunderhead, P-Brain? Nobody calls me P-Brain. Ready the mud slings, elves. So you want to play rough. Prepare the slingshots, dwarves. Uh, can we talk about this? There'll be no talking until the crystal is safe where it belongs with the elves. Slam them, elves. Hey, the crystal belongs to the dwarves! Slang them! You're wrong, and we'll prove it after we help the elves find it. <laughs> You couldn't beat us at football, Captain Know Nothing, and you're not gonna beat us now! Mega yeah! With you three on our side, I know we'll find the crystal first! Let's go! They've got a key to the world tree! Stop them! You're all acting like children! This is crazy! So? 
Sorry, ma'am. You fumbled the ball. It's our key now. Wiseacre teenager. Oh, <laughs> good work, Captain Ann. Kevin, aren't you getting carried away with this competition business? Well, that's what it takes to win, Lana. Come on, we've got a ruby ring to find. Hey! <laughs> oh no, ah! We're locked out. I could get voted out of the Hall of Heroes if this gets out. Do you have any more gold coins, Your Majesty? Not enough to buy another key, even if that ripoff artist was still hanging around. Why? You'll see. Surprise! A competition between these two will surely crown me the winner. <laughs> At last, I will have my revenge on both Dwarf and Elf for ousting me from the world tree. Keep your eyes peeled. These dungeons are jumping with creepy critters. <laughs> Nothing Simon Belmont Vampire Hunter can handle. We're falling behind. Let's get a meta move on. Oh, I see why they call this Mist Town. The Ruby Ring could be anywhere. Where do we look first? This looks like as good a place as any. All rise in the presence of your king! <laughs> Get lost before a crown! You better let me handle this, Your Majesty. Ah, uh, we're looking for a ruby ring. Then you must be looking for me! I'm Snake Eyed Snuff, meanest elf this side of World Tree. Oh, where'd you get that ring? Got it cheap, uh, a real steal. That's because I stole it. Ah, uh, your ruler say hand it over. We rule ourselves around these parts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how tough you are on the up challenge. I'm game. I win, I get the ruby ring. I win, I get your fancy weapon. <laughs> Deal. Bring on the challenge. First one to the end wins! Hey, no sweat! I, I think. Cheating! Cheating is part of the rules in the up challenge. Well, I wouldn't want to break the rules. <laughs> Looks like I win. Hand over the ruby ring. Not so fast! Huh? Okay, Blondie. Do your stuff. Time to clean house. Hey! Damn, that's the ring! Hey! Hey! Come to Papa! I'm going to settle this nonsense once and for all. I'll find the crystal. Lana, wait for us! After those pointy-eared sneak thieves! 
Oh, I hope the ring is leading us in the right direction. Yeah, on a road to nowhere. Maybe it's for the best that you forget about the Crystal King, Malthus. And leave it to the dwarves to find? Never! The guru was right. The ruby ring does move a mountain. Okay! The crystal must be inside. Out of my way! Oh, no, you don't! Look out! Come on, we better get inside before something worse happens. The crystal! It's mine! It's ours! It was made by a dwarf! Was not an elf made? It was made by both and neither. I, Dwarf, made it, and I'm half elf and half dwarf. You took the crystal? Yes, I made it for the good of all. But when the elves and dwarves began to fight over its possession, I feared its great power would be used for evil by one side against the other. Ha! That's a lot of poppycock! Why should we believe someone who's half elf? You mean half dwarf? Oh. Nice catch, Dwarf. Hand it over to your queen. Uh, sorry, your majesty. I can't do that. What are you talking about? He means he works for me. <laughs> it's the evil one. The evil one will use the crystal to destroy Vaxanadu. Our only hope is to work together. Come. There is an exit this way. At last, the crystal is mine! Now I will see if its powers are as great as the legend claims. I summon the power of the wind. With some hairy ride. Something tells me it's about to get hairier! That's our crystal! Give it to us! Yay! Then I shall, you puny little dwarf! I call upon the power of the waters! <laughs> Never more than that to stop the end team. I summon the power of the Earth. <laughs> Bad vibes. I gotta stop this dude from messing with Mother Nature. Feel the fire, Game Master. Right. Ah, oh. Oh, how power! I'm a cooked goose! Oh, no. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid you've lost You really there. shouldn't get so wrapped up in your work, ugly one. Take a load off! <laughs> to the crystal! Oh, no, you don't! It's mine! Dwarvain, help! Seen the last of me. Forgive me, your worshipfulness. The evil one said he would destroy us all if I didn't help him. Well, don't let it happen again. I hope you both learn to stop this feuding. Yeah, I guess I was being selfish wanting the crystal just for the dwarves. 
Well, same goes for us elves. We could have blown each other to bits. Makes you feel all warm inside to see them friends again, huh? Now it's your turn. Huh? My turn? Uh, oh, yeah, right. Thanks for the help back there, Belmont. I have to admit, it's good to be on the same team again. Now, where's that warp home you were going to show us? My dwarfs will show you the way. Well, I think she'd rather have an elf escort her. An elf wouldn't know a warp from a mud hole. Oh, yeah? Yeah! Out of my way! Oh, no, you don't. Yeah! <laughs> 